In this video, we're going to talk about the awesome power of knowing exactly what you want and how this power can literally change your life, change your finances, even change your love life. If this is your first time here, what I want you to do is enroll in 30 days or $2,500 per month to get your foundational business education and also get the Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success Mindset course. These are my gifts to you so I can put some money in your pocket. Let's sit here and talk about why some people are successful and why some people are not successful. We as Americans have this lovely notion of keeping our options open. We want to always leave room to get more. And in this space is a lack of opportunity. When you know exactly what you want and you are very specific, your chances of getting it dramatically increase. Here's one of the things. In our education system, we're not taught how our mind works. We're not taught how our subconscious mind works. We go through school and we get all of this useless information that doesn't really help us live the best way, best lives that we can live. So I'm here to tell you, if you want something in your life, you need to be very, very specific. And I'm about to say something that's gonna be contrary. If you want a mate, you also need to be specific. I know that many people like you, you can't define that love. I don't believe in that. I believe that when you have the ambition and the awesomeness to sit down and to write out exactly what you want. I know some guys are gonna hate this because many chicks are gonna put, I want a guy that's over six feet and so on and so forth, but I'm here to tell you it works. When you know exactly what you want, when someone can wake you up in the middle of the night and like, hey, what do you want? And you're like, I, I know what this, I want this. When you're that specific that you can be waking up from a sound sleep and someone asks you what you want and you can rattle it off, you are so close to getting what you want. This is why the average person in America, 51% of the people in this country make less than $30,000 a year. So when I say average, I'm talking about a lot of people. I'm talking about almost 200 million people. They don't understand the process of the subconscious mind. They don't understand how all this stuff works. They have no clue because this whole notion of keeping your options open is bad policy. Once you get very specific, and I'm going to speak on something a little trite, and a lot of people hate hearing about this, but this is something that I learned with the Craigslist protocol. When I defined the type of woman I wanted to answer my ad, that's who answered my ad. Because even in internet marketing, they'll say, have an avatar have a customer in mind that you want to sell to. They will do that. They will <clears throat> put that out there. So you know who's your audience. And I would write my ads for my specific audience and I would get them because I knew exactly what I wanted. One of the reasons that many of you are, <clears throat> are not successful is you don't know what you want. you like, you'll say things like you will have sloppy internal language. I want to be safe. I want to be secure. I want to be comfortable. What does that mean? I want to be financially comfortable. What does that mean? That ain't the same as saying, by the time I'm 35, I want to have a net worth of $5 million. Totally different process, totally different mindset. You got to get really specific on what you want and get rid of the, I want to keep my options open clock. I was thinking about getting in real estate. And then something in the back of my mind said, you need to focus on your business. Because see, I was starting to get scattered. And then my internal compass, I have an inner voice that talks to me and it lets me know when I'm getting off track. And here to tell you, I was getting ready to purchase two Airbnb properties. And that little voice said, stick to your business. 
Stick to what you know. Do what you know. And I, I actually stopped talking to the people. I was like, look, you know, I changed my mind. I'm not going to buy the properties. And literally weeks later, the world fell apart. See, here's something else that you don't understand about your subconscious mind. Once you train your subconscious mind, once you get into a pathology of your subconscious mind, your subconscious mind will help you and save you from doing dumb things. Your subconscious mind will open up doors for you. Your subconscious mind will lead you to the promised land. Also, an update on 30 days to 2500. I literally had a comment. This dude said, I've listened to what you said doing day one and two, and I've already made three sales. He's on day two. Do the course. Don't just download it because it's free. Do the work. You will make money. See, let me tell you where I'm going with this. And this is knowing what I want. I'm going to leave that course because I got people who's like, how long is the course is free? I'm going to say something that's going to be a little unkind to those people. It's free right now. Why aren't you taking action? Why are you asking me dumbass questions in the comments? Well, how long is this? What are you waiting for? Oh, that's right. You don't know what you want. You're in a place of suspended animation because you don't know what you want. The people who know what they want will take the course, ride out, make money. When opportunity is open, you should jump through the door. What are you waiting on? Christmas? Santa Claus? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? What are you waiting on? Here's one of the biggest problems with the keeping your options open clause. It keeps people in suspended animation because there's so many options. Uh, Barry Swartz did this thing called the paradox of choice. And it pretty much to explain it very simply, when you have a lot of choices, your satisfaction goes down because when you make this choice, you automatically over here feel a loss because you don't know about that choice. So when you have a lot of choices, it creates suspended animation, it creates less pleasure, and it creates a state of inactivity. The course is free and I got people like, how long is it gonna be free? Just enroll right now. Just enroll. That's all you gotta do versus asking me questions. Also, for the people who have login issues, I am not gonna take my precious time to help you get into a course when all you gotta do is go in there and hit the I forgot my password uh, act function on the website. Put your, web, put your email address in there. It's like, oh, I forgot my password. I am not going to go in there, give you a free course, and actually do extra work for free. Come on, man. Stop being damn lazy. I mean, seriously. I just ignore these conversations. I just ignore these emails. It ain't that hard. And this tells me that this person is probably older. Oh, I forgot my password. Could you reset it for me? I'm not doing that. I am not spending my precious time giving you access to a free course. Meet me halfway. Meet me in the middle. Stop being lazy. Learn how things work. And I've gotten like six of those emails like, hey, I forgot my password. Every website, Gmail has a, I forgot my password functionality where you put your email in and it can hook you right up. And this is part of the problem. So many people don't have what they want in life because they don't know what they want in life. Under the guise of keeping their options open. Under the guise of, I just want everything. I want to be comfortable. I want to live the best life. You got to start defining this stuff. You got to start saying, hey, this is exactly what I want and commit to it. All of this fuzzy, namby-pamby, sloppy mental language, it's just gonna keep you broke and poor. It's gonna keep you chasing. You're gonna be 65 years old saying, I could have been a contender. It just wasn't in the cards. I could have been a contender. And also a lot of you gotta stop using age as an excuse. 
I was 32 when I got on this journey. I was 40, wow, I think I was 42 when I made my first million. You got to commit to something. When I started this YouTube channel, I was committed to writing that book. I was committed to selling that book. And that's all I did for four years. That's it. I didn't have any other options. There was no other, there was no plan B or plan C or plan D. It was just plan A. And A worked out really nicely because I was committed to it and I knew what I wanted. I had written goals for this channel. I had a written plan. I'm gonna share it with you. My goal was I had enough money in the bank to live for a few years. And I was like, I gave myself two years, put myself on a budget of $1,500 per month because I didn't have any bills. I didn't have a car, no, none of this other stuff. So I put myself in this position to chase my dream of being a published writer. I put myself in that position through hard work and effort. And I wrote my goal that two years, I, I, had, I gave myself two years to make this dream come true. Gave myself two years and it happened in 11 months. Because I knew where I was going, I was committed to the process, I knew what I wanted. There was no half-stepping, there was no sloppy language, there was no, because see, when you make a commitment, the commitment forces you to find answers. But when you're half committed, or none committed, or I'm just keeping my options open, at the first road of trouble, at the first roadblock, you out. Cause you ain't committed to nothing. You stand for nothing. You just out here sucking up oxygen. Oh, that's some tasty, tasty oxygen. You're not really working on the best version of your life. Cause if you're working on the best version of life, you would be living a life of intent and design. And I got to get that course done. I got people waiting. But I'm here to tell you, there is an incredible power to knowing what you want. There's incredible liberty and incredible freedom in knowing what you want. So what I want you to do, take, watch this video two or three times. And what I want you to do is take a sheet of paper, a pen or pencil, and write down your goals. What do you want in life? Write them down and then review them every day. Every day, look at your goals and then ask yourself, am I doing things that are moving me closer to my goals or am I doing things that are moving me further away from the goals? It is not rocket science complicated. It is difficult because it takes discipline and dedication and effort, but it ain't rocket science. You don't have to be a genius to be successful in America. Actually, it is so easy to be successful in America because so many folks don't even try. They don't even put on a uniform. They don't even come out to the track. They still up in the locker room chilling. This is your competition. Right now, we have 32 to 35 million people who are unemployed. And these people are in a state of panic except for the ones who are making more money on unemployment than the ones who, those are the ones who got their unemployment and they got the additional benefits from the Fed. But what's gonna happen once the money runs out? And the money gonna run out. It's just a matter of time. State of Nevada is suffering almost a billion dollar shortfall. It's the first state of many that's gonna be, happen, that's gonna be doing that kind of stuff. So what they gonna do when the money run out? Right now, everyone is watching these stimulus check videos, because, and you know, thank you for your candor. There was a chick who commented, she's like, man, I don't need the stimulus check, but I want it, I was on it. And that's where so many people are, because the, the sound of free money, someone's gonna like, here, here's X amount of dollars for doing nothing. That's very seductive, that's very attractive. And you should renounce that. You should rebuke that. You should call that the devil. When all this stuff jumped off, 
What did I say? I'm not taking any stimulus package money. I don't need it. I'm not applying for it. Once again, look at who's leading here on YouTube and look who's here who's selling you wolf tickets. Well, this proposal, well, we don't know if it's going to pass. It's not a bill yet. And they're just teasing people and playing with people's emotions because there's people out there who are really hurt. There are people out there who really have it bad. They have no money. They have no income and they haven't paid their rent. They haven't paid their card note. They haven't paid their credit cards and the stress is mounting and it's going to become a pressure cooker for some people. Some people are going to commit suicide over this. Some people are going to turn to drugs. Some people are going to become alcoholics because the stress level is so high. And I'm here to tell you, even if you don't have a job, 1997, I was exactly where you were. I wrecked my car. I was homeless. I lost my job and I went through a divorce. All of this, it was like, 97, 98, 98, 99 were the most hellacious years of my life. Everywhere eyes turned, there was pain. There was financial pain. In some cases, there was physical pain. Some cases, my stomach hurt because I was hungry. And if I could make it from that, you can move forward. You can change your life. You can build. You can create but you got to be focused and you got to know what you want. Cause if you don't know what you want, you can never get it. You know, knowing what you want is like having a destination in mind. When you get in your car and you're going to say Chattanooga and you put it in your navigation, the navigation leads you there. You get there. No problems. It's the same thing with knowing what you want. Knowing what you want is like a secret catalyst to success. And so many people are afraid. Like, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Say you a dude and you like fat girls. Get you your fat girl. You like it, own it. Yeah, she fat, but she mine. Get what you want. I know there's a bunch of you chubby chasers out there. That's why these fat chicks got these attitudes. Like, huh, I know my, I know my, I know my milkshake good. They got attitudes because they know that y'all want them. They can be 330 pounds and still get a dude. Because there's a lot of chubby chasers. And if you a chubby chaser, beat your chest. It's like, I like fat chicks. I love them. I love the big titties. I love all that. Mm, give me more. Own it. Walk out in public with holding your fat chick's hand like, yeah, this is my baby. Be proud. Because <laughs> I know y'all out there. I've seen some crazy stuff online. I have seen some stuff. I'm like, oh my, you're on this website? And that that's part of it. Because like I said, I don't care what you look like. I don't care what you sound like. You can get what you want if you know what you want. So today, commit to your higher purpose. Commit to your goals. Start getting what you want. I'm getting ready to do another men's channel because of all this new YouTube knowledge that I've learned because I actually set up my channel incorrectly. And the first disruptive male did actually pretty well until I started getting hate from these men. Cause you know, dudes was like, you don't look like the type of dude to get those type of chicks. I'm like, dude, I ain't you. My mentality is a dragon. I got Shogun mentality. I can get them. And this is something that I found out. And I, I'll be honest with you. The first time I put up a Craigslist ad and I got a super hot chick, I was like, how did this happen? And it happened again, and it happened again, and it happened again, and it happened again. And that's like, oh, I got me a technique here. I got me a process. And I just repeated the process over and over and over. And I believed in myself. 
you don't look like the type of guy to get all that type of stuff. Then I start posting receipts and they got quiet. They got quiet. Because I know the power of knowing exactly what you want. I know what it can get you. I know that it can literally change your world. And a lot of y'all don't are so scared like the dudes who like these fat chicks. I got a friend. He like him chubby. He like him chubby. And I was like, man, go ahead and get you your big girl. Do you? Because at the end of the day, no one really is going to care. No one's going to give a damn. You live in your life, there'd be just another couple. That's it. If you allow other people to dictate who you date because you are not man or woman enough to go after what you want, you are a sorry ass punk. You a punk bitch. You a little punk bitch. Well, I'm gonna let these people dissuade me from my happiness because you don't have the courage to go after what you want. You don't have the courage to live life to the fullest. You don't have the courage. So what I want you to do, as I said earlier, get you some sheets of paper, get you pen and paper, pen or pencil, and write down your goals and review them every day and start doing activities that will move you towards your goals. During this pandemic, uh, Valuetainment put out a video like, why I'm still working. If you noticed, I didn't stop working. I doubled down. I started putting out more content. I started doing more stuff. I started retweaking my business because I know what can happen during a recession. Recessions are where people become millionaires and where recessions are people who are millionaires become multimillionaires and recessions are places where multimillionaires become billionaires because everything is on sale. Take advantage. Because, you know, the state's opening up and all this other stuff, blah, blah. This is going to go on for a minute. Go ahead. Get 30 days to 2,500. The hustler's mindset. Get that. Listen to it. Partake in it. And also get the money management course. Because I'm about to cut up a little bit. Because some of y'all are so egotistical. I can manage my money properly, but you got a car note. You got credit card bills, you got student loans and other debt, and you think that you are managing your damn money correctly. You're not. You're about to drown. You lose your job, you're gonna lose your car. You may even lose your house. You are not optimizing your money correctly because if you were, you wouldn't have all of this debt with your egotistical ass, like, oh, I can have the money. I'm a grown man, I'm a grown woman. I don't need no money management course. Yes, you do. Get it. Because I have seen craziness. So that's all I got for you guys today. Go ahead and start living your best life and know what you want. And there's another video right here, so be sure to check that out.